Hello great viewers and subscribers. Please I would like you to watch this video. And after watching, I will be back for analysis. So do not forget to watch the end. He is supporting the federal government. They cannot keep Kano for more than 24 hours. Say that again? Without the politician from the East mm. supporting the federal government, the, fe uh, the federal government will not keep Kano more than 24 hours. If they are not getting the support from the Eastern people. Just what they have said. Nam the Kanu presented a request. Seven requests. Seven. I just said I have mentioned. And when Buhari came to commission project in the Southeast, Imo, precisely, go and look at the, the request uh, Opus Odima presented before Buhari. Mm. The release of Nam the Kanu was not among the requests. If they are serious minded people, if they are, now they are not coming to do meetings to deceive Nigerians. When Buhari came, why didn't you present when they came to commission, when they came to inaugurate uh, Opus or Dima, what was the request? Did he present a request before the president? He did not. So they are not going to do meetings. Why are they deceiving? Honest truth. Kanu for me, or to otherwise. I don't see the crime, the crime you have committed or to know otherwise by the law, by the court. Thank you. You know, sometimes when you try listening to people, you understand that so many things has gone wrong. Nam the Kano continued detention it is something that sh should not supposed to be to date. But as usual, our brothers knows how to betray their mentor or their leaders. So many things has happened of recent. Some of them I refuse to talk because my silence is needed. So many people are bringing propaganda against everything that Nam De Kano believed in before he was captured illegally and sent to DSS custody. So many people are doing everything possible to bring it down. And those who are doing everything possible to bring it down are also telling you and I that they believe in Namde Kano. Now, if I may say something, this man in that video was right. He was 100% right. But, it's not Biafrance in Nigeria. In Biafra land, those who are sabotaging the release of Nam De Kano are the leaders in Biafra land and some people in diaspora, the same people they use to trace his whereabout in Kenya, they are actually the people who are doing everything possible. With the help of the two governors we have in our land to make sure that the Nande Kano did not come out in time. When Pam Bazika Meji left his house, may he so rest in perfect peace to see Buhari. They agreed on something. Pam Bazika Meji came back later on. Someone went to Asorok and tear everything to shreds. You heard Pam Bajika Amechi when he told you that some people went there to tell Buhari not to listen to Namde Kana after he went for a, to a, for a visit to see, Namde, to see Buhari to listen to Namde Kana. And that uh, dumb man that calls himself Buhari Listening to his fellow friends, 
At least they are the ones who supported him throughout his tenure. He called our brother and father, Pambazika Major Bluff. May his soul rest in peace. So many atrocities has happened against Namde Kano. He told you and I that we will be the ones to betray him. That he will never betray the struggle before. But the truth is this. Every prophecy has come to pass, apart from the one of Biafra to be achieved. And that also will come to pass. The betrayer started when he left his base to Kenya. Someone that I'm not willing to mention here. informed the Nigerian government who he was working for for long the word of about of Namde Kano but I have refused to mention the person because something is not so clear in that issue I don't want to do what I will do I say what I will say that will cause problem in this struggle in the freedom of Biafrans. This is why I have continued to keep my mouth shut. If not, I know what is cooking here that you may even think. Now, he has been in custody for several years, four years precisely, if I'm not mistaken. And those of you in Despera, if I should tell you today that almost about 50% of people in Despera has betrayed Namde Kano, take it from me. Because why? Because someone brainwashed them. Because someone brainwashed them. There is something we call Mili Mili Hu That is exactly what is happening in this struggle between Namde Kano and some people. But with the utterances, even you who doesn't know them will know who they are. Because when you call yourself an IPUB member or a Biafra person, it doesn't matter the group you are. You call yourself a freedom fighter or whatever it is you call yourself, and you say you believe in Mazen Namdeka, but don't believe in what he created. That means you are the real saboteur. This is why I've said that almost 50% of people, especially Igbos, live in Despera. Look, this thing is about Igbo. It's not about our brother, neighboring brothers like Ejos, uh, 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 like uh, Warri, Data people. No, 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 no. This is about our Igbo brothers in Despera. Even as I, speak, as I speak to you right now, a friend of mine that I used to be with in the United States of America, in the United States of America, uh, French is in thousand, that's what they call it, contacted me a few days ago, telling me the plan that they are planning in Despera, that they are waiting for Namdeka to make a single mistake. Since ever the time, people started calling for his release. So many people in Despera are not happy. Now, they are saying that they are waiting for him to make a single mistake in the struggle so that they can label him a saboteur. That is exactly what is on board now. Why he was saying it, I was not surprised because I know that those who sold him are from Despera, those who betrayed him are from Despera. Even though they continue to use propaganda, they deceive themselves. They deceive those who believe who they believe in, in, in them. But I know what is happening. But something is stopping me from talking because I don't want anything to affect this struggle. In this life, it's just a parable I'm going to make to you right now. In this life, with special invitation, devil can see God. That is the truth. Something is not clear here. 
But some people leaked the whereabouts of Namde Kala to Nigerian government. And those of them that did that, I know them. I investigated them, I have known them. There are also people close to him. But I cannot call their name because there's a lot of things that is not clear there. That is the fact. But I'm saying this for Nam the Colonel lawyers to be aware. They should not hide anything from him as he is there in DSS custody. Nam the is a strong man. They should let make him understand that Biafrans in Nigeria, in Biafra land, supports him 100% in whatever he's doing. They believe in him, they trust him. I've also investigated that. They trust him. 95% of Biafrans believe so well in Nam Kano, living in Biafra land. But uh, those in diaspora, almost about 50% of them has betrayed him. Look, some of them did that unknowingly, while some did that knowing what they were going into, venturing into because of money. He have to be strong. We are setting trap for him. He has to be very strong. He has always been consistent and he has been there for four years. When he has been there for four years, believe me, he has overcome everything. Even some of them in this one make a noise. They can't even stay in DSS custody for just common six months. People are caught stayed there for a year and a A year and a When we left there, we committed on that and we look, for that we left Nigeria because we don't want to go back there again. That is the fact. But if it's now, I can be there for even 10 years without giving a damn. So far as what I'm doing and why I'm doing it is working fine. No, the should not because some criminals who believe so much in Naira note, fake Naira note, betrayed him in diaspora. He should believe on those boys and women who are in Biafra land praying for him without being afraid, coming at every time. They are the real Biafrans. I'm not saying that those in this world are not Biafrans. But look, don't get it twisted. This is me and this is how I behave. I said things the way it is because they are the one dying for this struggle. If you tell those who are in desperate, who are contributing money now to go back to Biafra, forget about contributing money, go to Biafra land to fight for this struggle, they will not, they will refuse. Because they are, some of, so many of them are cowards. That is the truth. They don't want to die. So those who are in Biafra land should be respected. And Nam the Kano should understand that for those who are in Biafra land, they believe so much in him, they are with him, they are standing by him, 95% of them are with him. So for only that reason, you have to stand strong. Mazi, you have to stand strong. Don't make move. Don't shake. Don't even allow anybody to deceive you. Not even lawyers. Mm -mm. You know what you believe in? Because you believe in that. And believe me, God has sent you for this mission. We vindicate you. And all those people who were against you, who sold you, who plumbered against you, who betrayed you, will be disgraced. British, no doubt, we are part of your rendition, but they were on their own. Thinking of what to do to you because of the way you are going about it. And they don't know what to do because they know that what you are, do, you are doing is your right. Before Igbo governors use some people in diaspora, send to them to plan this whole thing that is happening today. But we have passed that. We are far gone beyond that. Now, we are on your release, and you will be released. Tinibu, just like Buhari, is just confused. People are pushing him. And that is the truth. But like I said, you will be vindicated. Everything they are using against you, they don't even have anything to use against you because that is why they are moving everywhere, running around, because nothing to use against you. 
They are aware that you did not commit any crime. They are aware that they brought you back illegally. If you committed a crime, they should have filed something, you know, somehow to the country where you are living. The Interpol will easily bring you back to Nigeria. But Interpol have said they did not bring you back to FBI have said so. So what the hell are we talking about? This is illegal. So you have to stand strong. They are only trying to break you. But do not allow them to break you. Because the enemies are waiting to target your saboteur. That is exactly what they are planning. A friend of mine, like a brother, contacted me and told me this. With evidence. But that I can't. But time shall come. No, we will no longer be quiet. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.